Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, Next Weather meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez is joining us now with what's next on this alert day. Lisette? Yes, and absolutely want to have your umbrella with you as the rain chance is high today, higher than we've seen in quite some time. And this is the reason we've issued an alert day. The winds out of the south southwest pumping in that tropical moisture and leading to numerous showers and storms later on. And there could be some flooding because of the heavy rain that we may see in spots. And tomorrow will be a similar setup. Now, the weekend, a slight change change in our wind flow a little bit more out of the east that onshore flow will allow for some storms to develop in the afternoon and as we head into the weekend we'll see more of our typical summertime storms though so as we head and look at the next radar network boy the gulf coast is getting slammed right now with the storms and the thing is that everything is going to start to march in our general direction we're already seeing that right just to the south and west of homestead and everything is moving to the north and east and we are dealing with a couple of showers here across Southern Dade County and South Alapata, and we're going to continue to see those showers and storms increase as we head into around 1 to 3 p.m. It could be wet and messy in the car lines for pickup from schools, and then the evening rush could be soggy in spots before things quiet down overnight. Tomorrow morning, some passing showers, but then another round of storms in the afternoon hours around 2, 3, 4, 5 p.m. that could even linger through the evening. And right now, though, hot in Miami, 90 degrees, 89 in Fort Lauderdale, 80 seven in Key West feeling like the upper 90s and right around 100 today. Hopefully the rain will bring us some relief and bring those heat indices a little bit lower than what we've seen. And as we take a look at the tropics, we ha now have Hurricane Earl that is a category two and it is forecast to become a major category three hurricane as it moves to the north and east and eventually a cat four. But right now Hurricane watches a tropical storm warning is in effect for Bermuda as Earl is forecast has to pass just near to the south and east of Bermuda as we head in through the day later today and into tomorrow. Also, post tropical cyclone Danielle, it has been downgraded and will continue to weaken and eventually dissipate into a remnant area of low pressure as it pushes southeastward and the two areas in the Atlantic. So far, not a concern for South Florida, but one of them does have a high chance of development. As we head into your Friday tomorrow, the rain chance is high, but then Saturday and Sunday we're talking a 50% chance of scattered storms with highs in the low 90s.